Hello, this is Adam Rayner for Talk Audio TV. We're looking out of a very wet rear windscreen of a car in the car park at Echo Beach Studios in Jupiter in Florida. Come on the jail audio trip, but this, this is all about Orion and a very aristocratic old girl there behind me. Um, and once again, I'm in a car with men. Um, I mean, <laughs> I mean, Mr. Neil Casey's vehicle here. Hello, Neil. Hello, Adam. Uh, I'm sorry, we've got a British accent now. Yeah. We just did a rather fabulous segment at Neil's studio. And the um, fact is, though, is that the only this thing is uh, sat in the back there. It's uh, DJ Billy E. O'Conn. Does your mum call you William when she's trying to tell you off? She does not. She does not. She knows better. <laughs> tell us about this vehicle, because this isn't just a, you know, the van with the boom from your, your your CD that we know about from forever ago. This is, I mean, I only learned today just how important this thing is. Tell us about its origins, this old girl here. Well, my love for Orion started when I was a kid. About 12 years old, I saw the first Orion van. Uh-huh. And uh, it inspired me. I wanted one. Right. Um, you said, I want that van. When I had put out Nightmare on Bay Street through IVP Records. Yeah. It just so happened that the owner of the record label at Firestone was yeah. also the Orion rep oh. for the entire Southeast of right. America. Gotcha. And salesman of the year for 15 years. So he did all that as well as actually getting involved in the music biz. Right. That's pretty happening. Right. So, so it's, it, all start, it all started for him yeah. with this van yeah. and a table full of Techmaster PEB's bass computer. Yes. Oh, man, we love that. And Newtown Records asked him yes. to take it to Iaska World Finals uh -huh. in, I think it was 1992, yeah. maybe? Yeah, yeah. And he sold 500 CDs in half a Saturday. Ooh, that's a lot of music. He then went ahead right. and collected everybody's CDs, DJ Laz, uh -huh. Beat Dominator, uh, all, this, all the bass stuff that was out there, and he repped it to all the car audio shops in his territory. Shortly after that, somebody advertised four titles in Car Green Electronics magazine. Yeah. I phoned him up. He said, you're phoning all the way from London, England? Oh, my God, wow, you need to talk to my distributor. And that was how I found out about you guys, because yeah. found the product. Well, so... Yes. So, uh, Orion would build Ed Firestone a van every year. Oh, wow. What and a thing. Right at the time that I released Nightmare on Bay Street, yes. they were decommissioning this van, and Orion was building him a new vehicle. So, I always loved the van. It was my first royalty check ever. Wow. But the power of the van is the fact that it was the van that Ed Firestone used to start the bass CD craze way back in the day. He would take that van, yes. a table full of CDs, and go to DB Drag, or uh, DB Drag wasn't around then, but yes. um, you know, Thunder and Wheels. All, all the the whole Iaska circuit, yes. little parking uh, lot shows yes. and, and, and and dealer events, and he would sell the CDs. He'd put the CDs in the van, crank it up, people would come over and say what's playing, and he'd sell a disc. So the whole of the origins of the bass movement in cars is linked not just to you guys, but to that there old girl sat behind us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Uh, These yeah. wipers don't work in the rain, and we're having tropical Floridian rain. Yeah. Well, like I was saying, yes. it, it was my uh, it was my first royalty check yes. that well, I had made from Nightmare on Bay Street. I loved the van. I wanted it. And now she's yours. She has been for a very long time. That's the other thing. I bought it in 1993. And, uh, we've got to go and get inside it. When the rain has stopped, we'll be in there. The next thing, ladies and germs, will be us sat inside because there's, there's a couple of bits and bobs to do with the tech which you need to know. So we'll leave it there for the minute, Bill. Cool. Thank well, that's you. the red car where we were filming. Just look at how beautiful the, the whole sort of Floridian uh, plant life is here. Look, I've just got to do this. You know, we ain't in London no more when uh, you look at a tree and there's all this stuff sort of hanging off it. And, yeah. yeah, the windscreen's filthy. Anyway, while I'm waxing lyrical, I'm doing it from within. Does this thing have a name, DJ Billy Ocon? The van? Or just the van with the boom. You know, because we made the track van with the boom, yeah. we kind of named it that. That's kind of what she called. I call it Old Blue, too. Old Blue. Yeah, You've got to make room. You've got to make room. <laughs> You've got yep. to make room. For the van with the boom. Dude. Still being run on a very old Pioneer, which serves as notification to Pioneer USA's chap that Billy knows to yeah. update him with something a whole load sexier. Yeah. Even the even the uh, regional sales good. manager from Pioneer is is like, how the heck is that that display still working? Is it, you still have that. that deck? It's still working. It's great. It doesn't skip in the dash. Yeah. I could do 162 dB, and the deck doesn't skip. Holy cow! Meanwhile, looking back into this van. Oh yes. There is the magic word Iran and a bunch of slots. Now tell us about this box's location. Um, you know, because it's quite a way back from you. 
there is stuff about you know the physics of bass and vans that you knew about long before a lot of other folks did. Yeah, well, actually, um, when Orion built this van back in the day, um, they wanted to do something that was super, super loud. Yes. And they decided to go with a, a 915 van pass enclosure. Whoa. It's fourth order. Um, as I understand it, the only difference really between fourth and fifth order is when you flip the switch on on your yeah. crossover. And uh, as far as doing my research, that's pretty much it. So it's fourth order, fifth order, yeah. however you want to call it. Uh, each each woofer is individually chambered. Uh, and there's nine in there. So that's why we're looking at nine holes. Right? Nine, and it's a one-to-one -one ratio of bandpass enclosure. So there's a sealed box in there with a box of the same cubic on the front of it, which is then ported to the outside right, world. Right, right. And what they did was <laughs> they, put a, uh, they put a meter mm -hmm. microphone on the seat. Yeah. And they plugged a tone generator into an amplifier, yeah, yeah. and they ran a tone through the wall, the resonant frequency of the box, yes. and they moved the whole entire wall backward and forward until they got the exact spot that the wave will come crashing down right on the top of your head. My God. And that is, uh, of course, all controlled by this bank of knobs and switches down here. Yeah, one of the one of the knobs just plain jumped out and disappeared at a show. Oh, my God. Um, well, one of the reasons we're not really able to drive too far is that, uh, like the uh, Team SPB thing, the guy called MI has got a people carrier, but at 160 decibels, things break and break off, sort of smash and just generally get eaten and consumed by the lows, don't they? You're reaching for something you're broken here? Yeah. <laughs> so we can find oh, it. bless. That's awesome. So last week I'm cruising down the road, yes. banging the system full tilt. Something falls off and hits me in the leg. And I realized that it's my turn signal windshield wiper switch. Oh, bless. That's gorgeous. So being that it's raining and I have yes. no wipers now, because... Yep. You know, it's wild, though, is if you take a good look at that, where this connected to the switch, that was metal. That's that's metal that, that, that the base broke the metal. Just focusing on here. Here we go. We can do this. I've done this before. Oh, oh it there just... It is. Uh... <laughs> Point is, is that the bass F's you up, you know. I'm pretty good with the scorching yes. flower as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know, it, 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 yeah, they tune this thing right, yes. and and uh, I can tell you, we've been playing it here in the car park, and it's uh, just been absolutely astonishing. So loud, so clear. It's uh, it would obviously distort the mic all to hell here, but even with the. Um, <laughs> Up to like 150 odd dB you played. You did say it's going to bounce the controller upstairs, so we ain't going to be able to do that. But Billy, let's leave it there, mate. Thank you so, so much. I've uh, got so much I would want to ask you, but it was just... Uh... I, think, I think we've got to get you a little demo here. We've got to. I mean, you can't come all the way to Florida. <laughs> Last time you came to Florida, you got a demo. You know that. I think it's... going to distort the mic, but we're just going to quick moment. Here we go. Let's go see. No, I, want to take, I want to take it up and open it up. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, then we'll uh, we'll leave it there and we'll have just a little tiny go and we'll get yeah. right back to you guys. Signing out. Cool. <laughs> Reaction video moment. Oh, dear. All you would have heard was, oh, dear. Um, I reckon I can judge accurately to within a dB or two up to, like, actually about 160 now. And if that wasn't hitting 155, it's about on peak right, there. Yeah. And I, I, that was moving me to the point of like throwing them barbecue ribs we just ate all about the place geez. and that's a 155 with this door open yeah and the sliders open oh my word yeah here in the rainy weather of jupiter florida billy thank you so very much you, you guys you are a ledge mate an absolute legend i appreciate it adam rayner and dj billy e o Khan in the van of the boom signing out in florida dude thank you peace thank you